Shalom again. We're going to continue with this teaching on Jethro and Moses, the mystery man. So stay tuned. Now, oh. Oh, so let's continue with the with the teaching. Let's continue with the teaching. Um, and we were stating <clears throat> this is still in we're still in Exodus 18, and we're referencing we're referencing uh, this work by the great Doctor Ben. From this book right here, and uh, this is the black man and of the Nile and his family. This particular book, most of you are probably familiar with this particular book. And we're touching on this in our Rastafari Sabbath sabbatical study number 17 on Yotor. Yotor is the Ethiopic of Jethro. Jethro. Now, we made the Lincoln connection in Moses 18 and 13 that Moses sat to judge. And we're showing the, that he sat upon this square, upon the ma'at, this ma'at. And that Moses was king. He was king in Jeshurun, or Jeshurun, Yishurun. And the link now is with the Osar, the Osar. Remember Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians, and he was a man mighty, Scripture teaches us in word and in deed. Now, as we study the Torah with that Ethiopic insight, we begin to actually see the half of the story that hasn't been told until now. So let's continue where we were in this particular quote here. So we're speaking about the priests. Mm -hmm. Now, the priests formed a distinct brotherhood. The priests formed a distinct brotherhood, as we also, as true elect Rastafari and Ethiopian Hebrews, also form a distinct brotherhood. But what sort of brotherhood are we? What sort of Wendemamach, Wendemamach, Wendemamachinet are we? Now, we can only build on the sure foundation that has already been laid. No other foundation than the Jesus Christos and the Getachin. But Jesus Christ's roots are real deep. You understand? Are real deep. And we're learning that the deepness of the roots go all the way back, even to ancient Egypt and even before to Tobia, to the land of the gods, the Kui land, the land of the beginning, the first land mentioned even in the B-I-B-L-E or the Bible. So here we learn that the priests formed a distinct brotherhood among themselves. They kept the knowledge and the powers as close as a close secret. This is why when we turn our Bibles, and let's, let's document it. And you see, because if you're not able to document it, <clears throat> then you really can't even comment on it. So this is why we say to the disciples and the brothers and sisters who are studying with us to document these things. Document them. Go look them up. You understand for yourself so you will know the truth. You understand? And don't have to be like Eve or be misbelieved, misbelieved, or anything of the sort. So here we turn to uh, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 7. Verse 22, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 7, verse 22, we read, and it says, Acts 7, 22, and Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians. King James translates Egyptians, but we know this is as the Egypts or the Giptoch, Egypts, not the Egyptians, but the Egypts, the, the upper, the Kuilan, or Tobia, or Ethiopia and the lower kingdom, the delta, uh, the, the Nile kingdom um, that we call Egypt, 
or Gibbets, and mighty in words and deed, deeds. Now, your Bible says words and deeds, so a couple of corrections for King James and King James readers. The first is that Egyptians should be Egypt's, more than one Egypt. And secondly, uh, secondly is words should be word. He was mighty in word, in the word, in Christos, in the true Christ, the word, the logos, and in deed. So the word and the deed is one. So we make this link now as we continue with this quote from Dr. Ben's Black Man of the Nile and His Family. In speaking and teaching on this symbol and the deep mystic meaning of Exodus 18 and 13, which is going to open up now, open up the beginning of the brotherhood, you understand, and the order of the brotherhood as we go forward. And we're going to find out that this section that's called Yotor or Jethro or Yitro is significant because Ethiopian, the, the Ethiopians, the ancient Obians, preserved the Yahwist faith or the true faith of Yahweh. The pure faith of Yahweh was preserved by the ancient Tobians. And this particular family, the Medeanites, were entrusted with that. Now Moses, when he fled to Median, he was initiated into that ancient Yahweh's order. And this is how and why Acts 7 and 22 will say that Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egypt, more than one Egypt, and he was mighty in the word, the execution of the word, the spiritual, the spiritual sciences, what we'll call today the metaphysical, we'll call this the metaphysical sciences today, or the spiritual, the